it's now 1 a.m. here in Oslo and you know today I will try to do a little experiment so I'm sitting in the Kia eSoul right now and you know uh, recently I've been measuring uh, uh, my Model 3 that uh, during the night when I sleep in the car it's been consuming a lot of energy it's consistent at around 1.6 kilowatt whereas in the Model S and X they were consuming about uh, one kilowatt maybe uh, during summer so now we have the opportunity I have the eSoul here and I have MC Hammer Model 3 in the garage so I will run this for maybe eight hours or something uh, to see how much energy or how much how the power is draw is in the eSoul which has a heat pump and probably more efficient air conditioning versus uh, the Model 3 so let me show you what we're gonna do Okay, so I fire up the car and then I have the switch, uh, the light switch off. Well, we can use now, see, so now we set the heater. Uh, well, we just have leave it on automatic, no driver only. And then we go here and then we choose, um, uh, let me show you here better. Uh, okay, there, there, right. Then we want to choose the, the camper mode. Well, it's called um, convenience utility mode. Okay, yes, switch on utility mode. Now utility mode is on. I guess we could switch off the head of display, switch off this. Okay. So um, now we have the heater running, set to 21 degrees Celsius. The outside temperature is 12 degrees Celsius right now. So it's not too crazy cold, you know, it's just Norwegian summer, 97%. Uh, so let's see how many percent we lose during the night and uh, now I'll just leave the car here it's fairly safe here so just go outside and I have to be quiet because people are sleeping and then I will do the same thing with uh, MC Hammer all right so the eSoul is not plugged in and if you see here we have MC Hammer here MC Hammer is not plugged in either so let's uh, let's initiate uh, the camper mode Okay, now this one actually has why it's called camper. Let me just uh, okay, whatever. Well, actually, I think the door has to be closed. There, okay. Now we just use the keep climate on. Let me switch to percentage. So I had 97% on the other car, and then here we have 90%. All right, so uh, 21 degrees Celsius, same settings. Let me see automatic. Yes, all automatic. No, actually, well, it just went down to 89%. Okay, 89%. Now we see, uh, let's wait, I'm not sure how many hours, eight hours or so, and then we see in the morning. And compare, what, what the heck? Now you have to make up your mind. Is it 90 or 89? Okay, let's say 90% then. Yeah, I can also calculate. Now, nah, okay, whatever. Why? Right. <laughs> all right, 89 then. Yes, okay. All right, so now these two cars are running the HVAC. Actually, the Model 3 has better conditions because it's running it inside the garage. So, you know, the consumption should even be lower on the Model 3. Uh, this one has to be out in the cold at night. So, um, let's see tomorrow morning how it is. It's 10 in the morning, so it's been nine hours since we left these two cars running with the heater or age well, air conditioning HVAC on so let's check out the eSoul how many percent we have left and you see it's even it's even raining now uh, so you know this is actually a disadvantage for for the eSoul because uh, MC Hammer has been tucked into the garage I have it I have the door closed before we started filming so um let me see, so the eSoul e -Soul started with 97% yesterday. Um, okay, uh, st everything is still running. Uh, now it reports 10 degrees Celsius. It was actually warmer yesterday night than today. And we have 90% left. So let me see, the car spent... Um, well, oh, let me adjust here for... Uh, so the car only spends 7% uh, during the night. Uh, okay, let's go and look. Have, have a look at um, MC Hammer. So seven percent on this car is actually um, well. We can calculate. 
Well, I did the math and 7% actually equals to uh, 4.5 kilowatt hours and that is only 500 watts. Um, let me check something. Uh, can we, I mean, if, when we are in um, in uh, this mode, uh, the camper mode or the utility mode, uh, yeah, you see. <laughs> so, um, the air conditioning is only pulling about 300 watts and then electronics 200 watts. It could be this, yeah, the, the screen here, the screen here, probably the computers and stuff. We're still running the communication and everything. So, you see, very efficient. Only 500 watts. All right, now let's see how much the Model 3 consume. Uh, look, 70% left. <laughs> so it means that the Model 3 consume 19%. And the ESOL over there only consume uh, 7%. So why the heck? Uh, so, you know, 19% um, on this car uh, is based on 74 kilowatt hour is about one almost 1.6 we can round it up to 1.6 kilowatt and you know we have better conditions here the car reports 18 degrees celsius inside the garage uh heater is on i can feel like a heater is on um so why the heck is this model 3 consuming more way more than and you know it's not something unique with a with a kia most cars with air, uh, heat pump like um, Ionic or E-Golf or whatever will also consume about the same, no? very little energy. Uh, and I actually also uh, expected the Model 3 to be somewhat efficient because I haven't, I have never consumed this much energy in a Model S or X, even a Model X bigger car. So there's something wrong or just, uh, I don't know what the heck is wrong with the uh, Model 3. And you know, why do you care about this anyway? Well, uh, I'm not saying this, you know, because uh, we, we are going to sleep in the car and we need to have a more efficient... No, no, no. Uh, not many people sleep in the car anyway. It's more like, you know, the car is already very efficient, but the HVAC is not efficient. And I wonder if Tesla can solve this with the software update over there, because, you know, you might be thinking, well, but 1.6 kilowatt versus 500 watts, it's no big deal. Well, if you think about this, if you're driving at 90 kilometers per hour, or even in the city or whatever, let's use 90 kilometers per hour uh, as an example. 1.1 um, kilowatt difference between this one and the Soul is actually about 12 watt hour per kilometer when doing 90 kilometers per hour. And if you would drive, you know, if you drive a long run, uh, let's say 500 kilometer run, um, with this in inefficient uh, HVAC, um, you would get 500 kilometers, yes, but if you had 12 watt hour per kilometer lower consumption, you would go, instead of 500, you would go 545 kilometers. So that's, uh, that's almost 10% more range, you know? Uh, and you know, I know that Tesla is always uh, trying to make the cars more efficient, but one thing they should try to focus on is the Model 3's efficiency. Because think about it, we have tons of tons of tons of Model 3's uh, out there, and they are all running in some in inefficient way. Uh, hopefully not by design, a hardware thing. Uh, hopefully Tesla can fix this somehow. Uh, if they do, I will do another retest. Uh, I don't have to use whatever other car as a reference. I can just see if I get this one lower, yeah, by just testing it alone. But um, yeah, so I don't know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys also report the same thing? You probably don't mesh, I mean, you probably don't notice this because you're just driving in the car, you see consumption, you know, you don't care. Um, actually, this also kind of renders that test we did versus Ionic a bit useless because that test, we were driving at optimal conditions, you know, uh, nice warm weather, so uh, the car didn't have to run the heater. So then uh, you saw that the Model 3 was as efficient as Ionic, but I think in reality, for most normal driving with somewhat cold ish temperature, then the Ionic will still beat the Model 3. Unless Tesla fixes this, and then maybe finally. Um, Tesla Model 3, maybe rear wheel drive or standard range plus, can be more efficient than the efficiency king, which is still Ionic. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.